Hey y'all, it's Tiffany. Um, I'm just going to get right to it. I'm in the weird spot again because I wanted to be muffled. Babies um, are probably going to wake up any minute to 30 minutes from now. <laughs> you never know. Um, didn't even take time to make the bed because I wanted to get this out. Uh, this is going to be a foster care update and um, it's about our own personal experience. And I, you know, the, I'll just say this. When I started this channel, the whole, well, when I started um, vlogging and stuff again. The whole purpose was to take you through my foster care journey. Not the babies, but but how how we're dealing with it. And there's just so much we can't share that, you know, it kind of becomes pointless. But anyway, I like to share as much as I can. So we had a visit with her CASA, which is your the court, the court, the court appointed special advocate. And, um, we already knew that what was going on a little bit, but she kind of just helped me understand it a little bit more. She's total volunteer. And so she can, she doesn't say, tell any information she can't, she's not allowed to share. However, she has a little more time to spend with us and can, you know, can more on a personal level, I guess. So anyway, um, where we're at right now, Blondie's biological parents will be having a trial by jury at the end of the month the jury will be chosen on i believe the 30th and then they will rule on the 31st i believe and this is very nerve-wracking to me because you know i can't share their history but it kind of to in my opinion this is my opinion my total opinion that this is their only shot because i don't see a judge ruling for reunification even though that's the goal in all foster care you know sometimes it can't happen and from what i gather it wouldn't be a good idea so i guess their hopes are that somebody you know that the jury will decide for reunification and um it's pretty nerve-wracking because that can totally happen that can totally oh, my hair's all messed up that can totally happen i mean um you never know. You never know what a, a jury's going to say. And what really, oh, really makes me nervous is I'll ask on the foster care forums and in the on the boards and stuff on Facebook, has anybody gone through this? And not many people have. And it, only one lady said that they were going to go through this, but the parents voluntarily gave up their rights. So... I don't think I don't think our our bios are going to do that. I just don't. Which I mean, I don't have the kind of mindset that people who usually get their kids taken away for these reasons do. But I would fight for my child too, so I can't fault them for that. But you know, she doesn't know them. She hasn't been with them since she was. I'm going to say. I'm just going to throw this. I'm going to say. I'm going to say four or five months old. And then she. Between January. And April. She was with five other people. I mean. And then she came with us. And she's been with us for. A, it'd be a year in April. So we're coming right down to her year mark. Now just because they. If they get their rights terminated does not mean we automatically get to adopt. We still have to wait and be approved and all of that stuff. But I mean, she's with us and she's thriving with us. And oh, I just don't want to see her go. And I don't want to get emotional on here either. But I can't imagine, I can't imagine this household in my life without her. It's for the past year. That's who I've been devoted to. I have been so devoted to her. But, you know, when you're a mom, that's what you do with your kids. But I don't want to stop doing, I don't want to stop doing that. So I just want to ask for everyone to keep us in your thoughts at the end of the month. And if you pray, please pray. <laughs> I know you don't, you see, you know, little clips of our life. And so you don't know if I'm the best mom for her or whatever. But I just say, pray that God keeps her in his arms and does what's best for her. That's not that's the prayer I've been praying all along because I think I'm the best mom for her, but you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of biased because I don't want to lose her and my family says that, but you know, we're biased. So the best thing to do is just pray that God does what's best for her. And I hope that I'm yet. <laughs>
Okay, I gotta go. <laughs>